You're good at what you do. Maybe you've been a software engineer for 10 years. Maybe you're a professional plumber. Maybe you know how to style hair like nobody's business. How do you turn that knowledge into videos that people will actually watch, videos that will make you money? Most people start out just by doing talking head videos like these. It's just you sitting in front of your camera, talking about your area of expertise. Maybe you share a couple of tips, maybe even whip up a tutorial or two. It seems reasonable enough, right? But if that sounds like you, you're already making a huge mistake. A mistake that may be setting you back from the very start. I'm April and Alter, and in this video, I'll show you how to turn your knowledge into a YouTube channel. Let's get started. So what's this huge mistake that I'm talking about and how can you avoid it? The mistake is this not being intentional about your video format. Back in the early days of YouTube, talking head videos like these were an easy way to break through the noise. It was rare for people to have a decent camera or a dedicated studio space. So if you did, you could instantly differentiate yourself. Now, however, everyone and their mother can make a decent talking head video. And as a result, what used to work before doesn't work anymore. Check out this vocal coach. He used to get hundreds of thousands or even millions of views on his talking head videos. Now, however, it's rare that his videos break 10K views. Meanwhile, other vocal coaches are gaining popularity with reacts videos with titles such as vocal coach reacts to Miley Cyrus flowers or vocal coach reacts to TikTok singers. So what does this mean? Do you need to start reacting and making crazy faces in order to be successful on YouTube? Of course not. Let's take a look at another example. This is the Charisma On Command channel. Charlie started out with talking head videos and they performed quite well. But when he switched to a breakdown or analysis format, that's when his video really started taking off. He didn't start making crazy faces or overblown reactions. In fact, it was quite the opposite. He took himself out of his videos and focused purely on the analysis of the concepts he introduced. But by switching his format away from talking head videos, Charlie was able to gain over three times as many views on videos on the same topics as before. Look, you can still be fantastically successful on YouTube with talking head videos, and there are plenty of examples of people who have. However, talking head videos do have the highest competition and also the lowest view multiplier. What does that mean? Well, the same topic delivered in a talking head format versus other formats will often yield fewer views. Okay, we get it, video format matters. But what types of format options do you have for your videos? There are eight main formats that you should consider. Talking head, breakdown or analysis, animation, interviews, vlogs, live streams, demonstrations, and reacts. I'll break down each of these formats for you so you could have a good idea of what they entail and whether or not they'd be a good option for you. And at the end of this video, I'll present you with a video format selection framework that will help you identify what format or formats are best for your niche, audience, and style. Let's jump into it. First off, we have the classic talking head video. This is the format that you're likely most familiar with. It involves speaking directly to the camera while sharing your knowledge or thoughts on a particular subject. It's the format that I'm using for this video. This format is ideal if you want to establish a personal connection with your viewers while showcasing your knowledge. It's also relatively simple to achieve video production-wise. All you need is a phone or a camera, a decent microphone, and a background that looks moderately aesthetic. Because the format is so straightforward, the editing process tends to be a little bit easier with talking head videos. All you're really looking at is making cuts and adding visuals to keep it from getting too boring. But because talking videos are so simple to create, they're also one of the most widely used video formats on YouTube. This makes it much more difficult to stand out or differentiate yourself if you choose this format. For examples of YouTubers who do talking head videos well, check out Ali Abdal, Mr. Who's the Boss, and Vanessa Lau. To use the talking head format, structure your video with a clear hook, introduction, body, and conclusion. Speak conversationally, as if you're talking to a friend. This helps build a deeper connection with your audience. One thing to keep in mind when making talking head videos is that they're very easy to make boring. No one likes staring at a talking head prattle on and on for 10 minutes. To keep your viewer retention up, make sure to enhance your video by incorporating relevant visuals like text, icons, images, or graphics. Ideally, you want something going on your screen at least every 10 to 15 seconds of your video. The next format to consider is the breakdown or analysis format. This format involves dissecting or discussing a topic without being visible on screen yourself. Instead, the focus is on on-screen visual, clips, text, or voiceovers to help guide your viewers through the analysis. This format works well if you want to dive deeply into a certain subject matter, providing comprehensive information and insights. Additionally, the breakdown format 
front allows you to focus on your expertise without worrying about an on-screen appearance, making it ideal if you don't want to show up on camera. However, this lack of an on-screen presence does make it a little bit more difficult to build a personal connection with your viewership. Additionally, more editing is required for a breakdown or analysis video versus a talking head video. Because you are not providing the constant on-screen visual of talking on camera, you need to fill that visual space with things like video clips or texts or animations or graphics during the post-production process. If you choose this format, make sure you master the voiceover. Because you won't be on screen, your audio quality becomes much more important. Additionally, because the main focus of your breakdown videos is the information exchange itself, you have to make sure that your content is gold. Next up, we have the animated video. This format uses animated visuals to communicate stories, concepts, or ideas, and is often accompanied by voiceovers and background music. Similarly to the breakdown format, animated videos are ideal if you want to break down complicated topics in an easily digestible way without having to appear on camera. But if you thought the visual editing in a breakdown video was tough, it gets even more challenging in an animated video. Creating high quality animations can be very time consuming and depending on your own skill level, expensive as you'll need to hire an animator for your videos. But the extra effort pays off. Animated videos have some of the highest view multipliers, making it a lot easier for you to stand out or differentiate yourself in your niche. And when done well, animations can make even the most complex topics more accessible and enjoyable for your viewers. Some examples of YouTube channels that do this well include Kurtzgesatz in a Nutshell and TED Ed. If you're not one for intense post-production editing, the video format might be more up your alley. This format involves one-on-one -on -one conversations between you and a guest who brings something interesting or unique to the table. Interviews are ideal if you want to discuss and learn from others within your niche while providing valuable information to your viewers. A huge benefit of the interview format, especially if you're a newer entrant to your niche, is that you can leverage the credibility of your guests to help grow your channel. Additionally, it provides a great way to meet others within your niche if you're looking to make newer connections. However, it's a lot harder for interview channels to do well on YouTube. Most people come onto YouTube to watch shorter videos, so you have to really convince them that it's worth it to stick around for longer. Additionally, the quality of your content will rely on your guests. Unlike other formats, you have less control over the direction and type of information shared. Channels that do this well include Impact Theory and The Graham Stephan Show. To get interviews right, select guests who bring valuable insights, perspectives, or experiences that align with your channel's focus. Focus on storytelling, encouraging your guests to share anecdotes, examples, or personal stories that bring their expertise to life. The more prepared you are, the better your interview will go, so it's worth researching your guests and developing a specific list of questions that will prompt informative and engaging discussion. In addition to uploading your entire interview, you can also break up your interview into smaller segments, record a separate intro for them, and upload those smaller segments as their own YouTube videos. Ali Abdal does this well in his podcast, Deep Dive. You can record your interviews separately before you upload them to YouTube, or if you'd prefer, you could always go the live stream route. Live streams are real-time broadcasts where you engage with your audience directly, usually through the chat or comments. You can live stream your interviews, but you don't have to stop there. Other options for live streams include Q&A sessions, workshops and tutorials, live projects, commentaries, and more. Live streams are ideal if you want to interact directly with your viewers, demonstrating your knowledge in real time and building a community around your channel. The spontaneous nature of streaming can make it feel more authentic and relatable to your viewer. Maintaining an upbeat energy through hours of live streaming can really take a lot out of you if you're not used to it. Additionally, live streams are typically less polished than pre-recorded and edited videos, which may affect the perceived quality of your content. Most live streams now are done on Twitch, but YouTube does also have a streaming feature. Streaming YouTube channels that have done well include The Coding Train and Khan Academy. If you want to start streaming, first come up with a list of specific topics or titles for each stream. This will help each stream maintain a sense of structure and direction, keeping the content relevant and valuable to your viewers. Additionally, make sure to actively engage with your viewers during the duration of the stream, including answering questions, replying to comments, and acknowledging your viewers by name. And if you wanted to, you could also edit segments of your live stream VOD and upload those separately as standalone YouTube videos. But you don't have to live stream your content in order to showcase your knowledge in a tangible way. Instead, you could utilize the demonstration format. Demonstration videos showcase a step-by-step -step process, illustrating how to perform a particular task or do a 
a specific skill. This format is ideal if you want to provide clear, tangible instructions to your viewers, helping them learn and master new techniques or concepts. The hands-on nature of demonstration videos can help keep viewers engaged and invested in learning, and well-made demonstration videos can be evergreen, remaining relevant and valuable over time, attracting viewers long after they're published. Additionally, demonstration videos and tutorials are some of the most often searched videos on YouTube, leading to a better shot at being discovered from YouTube search results. Creating high-quality demonstrations, however, can be labor-intensive, as they require heavy planning, filming, and editing. Some examples of YouTube channels who often use the demonstration format include Pickup Limes, Yoga with Adrian, and Programming with Mosh. To create effective demonstration videos, break down your topic or task into smaller, more easily digestible steps to make it easier for your viewers to follow along. Ensure that your video is well lit and shot from an angle that allows your viewers to see the details of your demonstration. Additionally, anticipate questions your viewers may have and address them directly within the demonstration itself to help establish yourself as a credible expert. If you want your content to be more casual, you could consider vlogs. Vlogs are a more personal or informal video format where you can share your thoughts, experiences, or day-to-day -day activities with your viewers. While you might assume that vlogs are reserved for lifestyle or entertainment content, that's not necessarily the case. Vlog content has performed well for a number of educational YouTubers, including Casey Neistat, Katherine Manning, and Michelle B. Vlogs may be for you if you want to build a more personal connection between you and your viewers, showcase your knowledge in a more casual manner, or provide some behind the scenes of your work or life. Additionally, this format offers more creative freedom through flexibility and content and style, allowing you to experiment with different ideas and approaches. Due to this flexibility, however, vlogs may suffer from a lack of clear structure or focus, making it more difficult to convey your knowledge effectively. And depending on how much footage you capture, trying to tie it all together in post-production in a cohesive manner may take forever. To help with this, try planning out the overall structure, purpose, and story for your vlogs before you film them. This will help keep your footage relevant to your final video. And the last video format to consider is the Reacts format. Reacts content has risen in popularity over the years, with huge YouTubers like MrBeast incorporating this video format into their content. Reacts videos features creators reacting to or sharing their thoughts on different types of content, such as other YouTube videos, music, movies, or current events. This format allows you to showcase your knowledge by providing insightful commentary or analysis, while also capitalizing on trending topics or popular content. Reacts videos can be relatively simple and quick to produce, as they primarily involve recording your reactions or thoughts while watching other content. Additionally, because it's trend-driven, this format allows you to capitalize on trending topics or popular content, drawing in a larger audience. Reacts videos also tend to feel more casual or personal, allowing you to connect with your viewers on a deeper level. But because of the reliance on trends, Reacts videos tend to have a shorter lifespan, as their relevance fades once the original topic or trend loses its popularity. If you want to explore creating Reacts videos, choose content to react to that's relevant to your knowledge and provides an opportunity for you to provide insightful commentary. Go beyond simply reacting to the content. Instead, provide your audience with, with valuable insights, tips, or critiques based off of your experiences. And be careful about the use of overblown or exaggerated reactions. You want to create engaging content while maintaining and building your credibility. YouTubers who strike this balance well include Dr. Mike and Legal Eagle. All right, I just brought up a lot of different video formats. How can you choose which format will work best for your channel and niche? When making your decision, follow this video format selection framework. Step one is to consider your target audience. What types of videos will best resonate with them? If your audience is expecting more formal content, breakdown videos, animated videos, talking head videos, and demonstrations might be best for you. If your audience would appreciate more casual, personal content, then talking head videos, live streams, interviews, vlogs, and reacts might be a better fit. Step two is to consider your own knowledge. What video formats lend themselves best to showcasing your specific skill sets? If your knowledge is best expressed by hands-on or step-by-step -step instruction, then demonstration videos or live streams might be good for you. 
If your knowledge shines when busting myths or correcting common mistakes within your industry, then React's content could work very well. Step three is to study the existing content and creators within your niche. Are there any video formats that don't currently exist within your niche? Those gaps in the market can help you identify opportunities. That's how Peter Sue finally got his channel monetized after two years of trying. He recognized that there wasn't much day in the life content in the investment banking niche. And when he made a video to fill that gap, it took off. Step four is to examine your available resources. How much time and money do you have at your disposal for creating content? If you have a substantial content budget, you can unlock formats like animations, breakdown or analysis videos, or high quality demonstrations that are otherwise unachievable to others in your niche. If you're low on resources, then vlogs, live streams, interviews, and reacts content could be your best bet. And finally, step five is to consider your own personal brand and style. What do you want to be known for? What are you good at? If you're naturally extroverted or enjoy speaking with others, then interviews, live streams, and vlogs could work very well for you. If you're naturally introverted or prefer a more robust analytical approach, then breakdown videos would probably be a better fit than say React content. Whatever you decide on, don't be afraid to experiment and adapt. You don't have to stick with just one format. In fact, combining different video formats can help keep your content fresh and engaging, while also opening yourself up to a variety of opportunities. For example, the How to ADHD channel regularly mixes talking head videos with interviews, and Lindsay Ellis combines talking head videos with the breakdown or analysis format. As you experiment with different video formats, check your analytics to track your performance and adjust your strategy based off of that data. Listen to your viewer feedback and be responsive to their suggestions and requests. And through it all, ensure that each format you try out aligns with your channel's identity, style, and audience. So what did you decide on? Maybe you've chosen a breakdown or analysis format, or maybe a reacts format, or maybe even after all of this, you decided to just stick with the simple talking head format. Regardless of your decision, you should feel proud. You've taken the first step in setting up your channel for success, but you're not quite out of the water yet. If you want your YouTube channel to succeed, you have to learn how to create compelling YouTube videos. For the neuroscience of YouTube, check out this video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you can, and I will see you in the next video.